chapter, The Silver Fox, the story of Gar Wood. It's 1931. The Silver Fox of speedboat racing is 50 years old. At that age, most men yearn to take things easy, but not Gar Wood. We're going to make an attempt in a few minutes to uh, break the world record. To set a new record, wood must reach 100 miles an hour. Water is as hard as glass at that speed. An accident could be fatal. Disregarding danger, Wood opens the throttle. He's known as the Silver Fox because of his racing skill. And Miss America Ninth is one of the fastest boats in the world. One hundred and two miles an hour. A new record. The Oldster is tops in a sport that demands the iron nerves of youth. The secret of his success, courage, and self-confidence. Those qualities marked Garwood's career from the beginning. Born into the horse and buggy age, Garwood was an automotive pioneer. In 1912, a struggling mechanic, he invented a hoist for dump trucks. It made him wealthy. Next step, manufacturing motorboats, a natural transition. Gar Wood had made a hobby of speedboat racing and captured several trophies. Then, in 1920, he built the first Miss America, christened by his wife. It was the start of a great adventure. He had challenged England to race for the Harmsworth Trophy, the World Speedboat Championship. Osborne Bay, England, seen at the Harmsworth International Trophy Race of 1920. For Gar Wood and his mechanic, Orrin Johnson, it was the climax of months of preparation. But they were low-rated by the experts. Gar was the underdog as he took the Miss America out of the starting line. The race began with all the advantages held by Gar's opponents. They knew the course, and he had never raced on salt water. But he learned as he went along at 60 miles an hour. The spectators had never seen such daring driving. Gar Wood left his opponents far behind. He had spent a quarter of a million dollars to win that race. But to him, victory was well worth the price. Back to the United States went the Silver Fox, bearing the precious Harmsworth trophy to its new home. He was a family man with all the responsibilities that come with a wife and child. But he was now also the speedboat champion of the world, ready to defend that title against all challengers. In 1924, he raced a fast express train from New York City to Albany. Gar beat the train to Albany by five minutes. The victory was a family affair. Gar's wife had become his constant helper, nursing his bruises, always giving encouragement. His son, Gar Jr., was his greatest fan certain that Daddy was invincible. But it was 1928. The Silver Fox was preparing for another Harmsworth race. He had received a challenge from England. Gar's latest boat, Miss America VI, had been built for the defense of the trophy. On her test run, he opened the throttle to the limit. Suddenly it happened, the thing Gar feared. The boat broke up. Working day and night, Wood and his helpers built a new boat, Miss America 7. She was finished 
one day before the deadline. Detroit River and the Harmsworth Trophy race of 1928. The English challenger, Miss Marion Carstairs, was confident of victory. Gar Wood's new boat was untested. At high speed, it might fall apart like its predecessor. But Gar wasn't worried. He trusted his good luck charms. I have here two teddy bears. Ted and Boone, I've carried those in every race in the last 15 years. And they're very, very successful. Would those charms again bring luck to the silver fox? He'd find out in a few minutes. Gar Wood entered an untested boat in the Harmsworth race of 1928. His supporters prayed for him to come through unharmed. But risks to the silver fox were part of the game. to luck and skill, he raced the untested boat at top speed, ran away from the challenger, retained the World Speedboat Championship. Garwood's mascots had brought him through safely. Undiscouraged, Miss Carstairs bid twice more for the Harmsworth Trophy. She increased the speed of her boats, but it was a losing fight. Wood improved his Miss Americas and retained the trophy. The contest was resumed by Sir Henry Seagrave, one of England's greatest speed kings. England was determined to win back the Harmsworth Trophy. Seagrave's boat Miss England's second was enormously powerful. No expense had been spared to make her the fastest in the world. She made her test run on a Friday the 13th, a day of calamity. The boat exploded and sank. Seagray was killed. Kay Don took Seagrave's place in the Harmsworth Trophy struggle. It was 1932. Gar Wood faced his toughest opponent. He had redesigned his engines to produce 8,000 horsepower. But was that enough to beat Kay Don, who had broken the world speed record? went ahead at the start. The snow white English boat powered by Rolls-Royce airplane engines flew over the water like a rocket. Something was wrong with the Miss America. Gar Wood couldn't bring her to top speed. Then suddenly she opened up and roared past the Challenger. Victory! Gar Wood retained the championship. But it hadn't been easy. I uh, think that Kay Don gave us the hardest race we ever had. One year later, the Silver Fox retired from speedboat racing. For more than a decade, he had ruled supreme. 